Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how to create simple health bar that is reduced if characters gets hit. And also we will create a body armor feature, so if character has armor vest on, then vest power is decreased first and then character's health is being reduced if player catches bullets. Let's create our project from the scratch so you can follow the steps and see how it's done. First I add a background, then I add a grass sprite and set its ordering layer to 5. Then I add a bulletproof vest, which will be picked up. Add a box collider to it, which will be a trigger. After that I add a gun sprite, change its order on layer to 5, so it's rendered in front of the background. Gun game object will have a script to fire bullets. Here is this script. Here is a reference to bullet prefab, which will be assigned in inspector. In update method we check if fire button is pressed, and if it is, then bullet prefab is instantiated with initial bullets position and rotation. Add the script to gun game object. Now let's create a bullet. Add bullet sprite to the scene, change its order and layer option, rotate it by 90 degrees in Z axis. Position it at the place where it should be instantiated. Add rigid body to the component, set gravity scale to 0, collision detection to continuous and freeze Z rotation. Add a box collider, set it as a trigger. Bullet needs a script to fly. Here it is. Here is rigid body reference and in start method we get that rigid body component and pass a velocity to it, so bullet will fly to the left as it's instantiated. Add the script to bullet game object. Drag and drop bullet game object from hierarchy into project folder to create a prefab of it. Delete bullet from hierarchy. Select gun game object and drag and drop bullet prefab into bullet slot of gun script. Now bullet will be spawned when fire button is pressed. Now let's create a character. Add cat sprite into the scene, change its order and layer option, then add another one bulletproof vest sprite. Change order and layer so it's rendered in front of the cat, position it correctly and make it to be a child of the cat. Now let's create health bar and armor bar. Create new UI canvas, set its scale mode as scale with screen size. Right click on canvas and create new UI image. Double click it to get a focus on it. Position it at the top center holding Alt plus Shift keys. Rename it as health bar. Drag and drop health bar sprite into source image slot. Modify its width and height. And change its Y position a bit. Duplicate health bar image, rename it as armor bar. Drag and drop armor bar sprite into source image slot. Correct its position a bit. And modify its width, height and Y position, so it will be a bit smaller than health bar. Like that. Select health bar and change its image type from simple to filled. Set its fill method as horizontal. Fill amount option will be changed to the script. Do the same for armor bar image. Now let's get back to cat and check its script out. Script uses Unity Engine UI library. First here is a rigid body 2D, direction X and move speed variables that help to move the cat. Then health points and armor points variables go. Then here is a reference to bulletproof vest game object that cat carries on. It will be assigned in inspector. Then health bar and armor bar images go, that will be assigned in inspector as well. And here is boolean, bulletproof vest is on variable, which is false initially. In start method we disable bulletproof vest game object that is on the cat. Then we get rigid body component and set health bar fill amount to 1 and armor amount to 0. In update method we read if left or right arrow button is pressed and assign that value to direction x variable multiplied by move speed. In fixed update method, the cat is moved by passing a velocity to its rigid body according to direction x value. On trigger enter 2D method is invoked when cat collides with some game object. So if that game object name is bulletproof vest, then vest that is on the cat is set to active state. Bulletproof vest is on variable is set to true, health fill amount is set back to 1 if it was decreased and armor fill amount is set to 1 as well. Health points and armor points are restored and picked up vest is destroyed. If game object that cat collides with has bullet script attached, which means that cat collides with the bullet, then bullet is destroyed for a start. Then, if bulletproof vest is on, then armor fill amount is decreased by 0.2 and armor points is decreased by 1. If armor points is less or equals to 0, then vest on cat is set to inactive state and vest is on variable is set to false. 
Else, if bulletproof vest is on wearable equals to false, then health fill amount is decreased and health points is decreased as well. And if health points is less or equals to zero, then cat is destroyed. That's the script. Add the script to cat game object, select cat and drag and drop corresponding game objects into their slots of cat script. Bulletproof vest, health bar and armor bar. And finally, to make cat move, let's add a rigid body to the component to it. Set gravity scale to zero, collision detection to continuous, and freeze the rotation. And to make cat detect collisions, add a box collider 2D and set it as a trigger. I added it a bit. Like that. Now we can hit play and see how it works. Bullets are fired by pressing fire button. Then they collide with cat and reduce its health. But to increase its chances to stay alive, our cat can pick up a bulletproof vest and survive a bit longer. When vest is out and health is over, then cat dies unfortunately. Hope you like this tutorial. Thank you for watching. See you next time.